Hello, welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today's video is sponsored by Listener.io. So make sure you click on the link in the description and check out how you can get safe counseling support for pilots online that is not reportable to the FAA, barring certain limitations. Today we're gonna to talk about how to use the pilot records database and how to actually register so that you can share your pilot records with an employer. Once you click on the link, it's gonna take you to a, a PDF actually. The registration link just opens a PDF, which is a little weird. But the first thing you have to do is create a My Access account with the FAA and the, with the government. So you open that link, create your, put your information in, and there is a required security confirmation step where they're going to require you to use authentication like Google Authenticator. They have several options of what you can choose, but um, we're going to go ahead and fill out all your information on this My Access website first before you actually get into the pilot records database. So once it processes, you actually have to get that, like I mentioned, the authenticator thing set up, uh, confirm your actual address and everything. And I've blurred out all my information so you guys don't get all my personal information because I like you guys, but we don't need to give out all my personal information, of course. And I'm really not giving you my last four of my social security number, and now am I. So once that is complete, uh, you're going to get a confirmation with Google Authenticator. You can also choose to put your phone number in and authenticate with text. I chose to do both for me. But then you now are going to go into your email, complete the My Access user registration, set up your password, and then you are going to go back to the FAA website and then once your My Access account is all activated, then you can go to the pilot record database and actually set up your pilot record database access. So first you have to accept their terms and conditions. And you can read through all that. Set up your information, put in your first last name. You have to put in your pilot certificate number and the date that you received that pilot certificate. And then you can, of course, complete the rest of your information and then select your role as a pilot. And this part is actually the easiest part. Once you do that, actually, if it all matches their database, you are in the pilot records database. At this point, you can add your previous employer information. So I'm just doing a little simulation of putting in an employer. Um, and then the other tab to notice is the tab that is labeled uh, consent, where you can go in there and put your air carrier that you're applying to that you want to share your records with. And so I've just picked Envoy. You can pick how long you want to share it for. The other advantage with this site, you can use them to see all your records and your check ride failures and whatever. Well, thank you for listening to sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys with registering. Have a great day.